Customer states car will not start. It was towed in. It's a 2020 Chevy Spark. Let's go see what's wrong with it. Okay. Put the key in. Hmm. Something ain't right there. Yeah, I wonder why it won't start. There's no gas in it. All right, now that there's some gas in there. Whoa! Customer came in for a tire repair. Repair? Yeah. And this person was driving on the highway when a turtle suddenly struck the windshield. The turtle was still alive and removed from the windshield, then brought to an animal shelter. No radio has a blank screen. Huh. Oh, you look at that. Customer states radio screen has a white line at the bottom of the screen when the reverse camera is on. You mean your bumper? Customer states, blue light on dash. This is how she drove in. When your car starts grinding, stop and have a look at it. Customer states, Light vibration in the front right. Oh? And I'm just the messenger, but the mechanic said this customer came in as a paint color of their vehicle doesn't change when they change it in their vehicle settings. Customer states the vehicle they just bought has a noise in the front end. Yeah. Customer states his ATV shuts off every time he turns right. Customer states when turning left and rolling the passenger window down, the door opens. Um, Let's see if it's open first. Okay, okay. so it's open. It's open. All right, so we'll go in. Because it won't close. And we lock. You can't tell me you've ever seen that before. That's the first time I've tried the key because I always have the unlock and lock. I've never seen that before. This vehicle came in as the radio wasn't working. The technician removed some trim to access the fuse box and noticed that the interior of this vehicle was saturated with curry. Customer states, AC blown warm. Well, that was easy. Customer states it sounds like a cowbell when he drives over bumps. The customer later found out that his friends pulled a prank on him. And this customer's concern is that they have a noise after they installed a new power steering pump. The customer ended up cutting out a piece of the frame because he said there was no room for the power steering lines. Today we have a 19 Chevy Silverado with 40,000 miles on it in for a uh, large EVAT leak. So let's just, let's just take a look. Huh. I think they forgot to take that out. Customer states that they were just pulling out of their driveway, then their car stopped moving. Customer states that they heard a pop while driving and then it started to smoke and then stopped working. The mechanic said the customer declined further diagnosis and said he was going to leave the vehicle at the dealership to get repossessed. This vehicle was towed to this body shop after the driver hit a guardrail. The technician said the driver didn't sustain any serious injuries and it was towed to his body shop so the customer's insurance company could take a look at it. 
Customer states their dipstick broke, and now their vehicle won't start. The technician said the dipstick managed to wrap itself around the crankshaft sprocket and dislodged the timing chain, causing the pistons to hit the valves and the timing chain guides to break. Well, got a high end of here, and for a tire repair, saw the oil chain sticker was 10,000K overdue. Typical high end day owner. The technician told the customer there was no oil on the dipstick, and the customer declined repairs. Customer states his ATV won't start. Yeah, why would you need a fuse? Why would you need a fuse? When this customer installed some accessories on his truck, he never installed a fuse in the circuit. The customer had declined repairs and said he was going to get rid of the truck. And this taxi just came in for a recall. The technician noticed the multiple lights on the dash and mold inside of this car, which the customer never mentioned anything about. Customer states that the tire light is on. All right, let's check these tires real quick. Oh my God. This customer came in because he thinks his truck might need new head gaskets and wanted to pay the shop to tear apart the engine to check. The technician later found out that the customer recently tried doing the head gaskets himself, but reused the old head gaskets and put RTV silicone on them.